one key feature of the JSON API module is that you should be able to get the information that you need in a single request and just the information that you need. So you can see here that uh, we are getting all of the possible properties uh, of the article 2100 and we are getting all of them because we didn't specify any particular properties to be returned. So if we are specific about which properties we want back, we will only get those and none else. So uh, let me show you how you're gonna do that. So uh, one important thing is uh, that you need to know the type of the resource and you can find that by uh, exploring the, the type key that is present in every output that you, that you get. So in this case, it's not article. So we're gonna say that for the fields key, and that is uh, how the JSON API specification says that you should do it, for the fields key and passing the article, the, the name of the resource or the type of the resource, uh, I'm gonna list the fields that I want back. So in this case, I just want to get the status, the title, and maybe, I don't know, uh, let's get uh, one of the, the relationships, the UUI, the UID, sorry. So a, a, we want to, uh, to get the status, the title, and the UID, the author. Um, so when I click send, what I should see is that the attribute only contains status and title, and relationships only contains UID. If I send that, you will see that the um, response is very simplified, you only get what you need and not uh, a lot of extra stuff. So you can see that uh, we're getting just one and two attributes and just one relationship. So that's how you tailor down uh, using sparse field sets, uh, the response to what you need.